have a mass grave. They took it to the mass grave and dump it here yeah. until you dead, rotting. Yeah. Huh? Even though you get sick because there was no medical facility In that, that time. time. Yeah. <laughs> Keep every, every knot tied. Mm. Yeah, as soon as they approach the king's yard, they started saying this word. Keep every knot tied. After an individual was sold and passed this gate, they would never see Africa again, never be on the homeland. Until Worldwide Hodge makes his return. We're back. <laughs> Coming live from the southern part of Freetown area, I believe it's called Kent. And we should be seeing a part of the slave trade history, to my understanding. As you see, we have our African Americans here, the African American delegation here in the Sierra Leone nation. We all are getting our citizenships and getting our proper understanding of of the situation here. Okay. So it says here, Kent Youth Secretary, Kent Youth Organization. Good afternoon. Okay. Great. And then over, over the wall here, if you could see, there's a little piece of beach down there. And I think because we're outside of the city, the beach part is like more clean. I'd love to explore that way someday. Should we be excited? Should we be excited? Yeah. Yeah. What's going to happen here? Here is a monument place owned by the slave. Owned by the slave. Yes. Mm. We, at that time, they came to take slaves around straight to Europe. You know, this is one of the places we had to fix the slave. Okay. Yeah. We have the negotiation building, mm. yeah, which is over here. We have the well, and we have the, the pen. We had to use the keep the slave. So the Europeans came here yeah. to get the slaves and take them to like Britain, yeah, yeah. Like Britain, America, mm. uh, Portugal. Yeah. Yeah. So this is where they took my daddy from. Yeah, this oh. is the place. <laughs> this is the place we are we already came from, you know. Mm. We're doing at that time we have our chief, a paramount chief, mm -hmm. which they use the batter system. You know, they, when we here we when we want sugar, we want palm wine, bread, do that, exchange them for slaves. Uh, yeah. Now see That's this crazy. Crazy. This palm, 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 oil, palm, palm, palm oil and bread. Yeah, bread. God, and gunpowder. Gunpowder. Yo. So they do an exchange. The batter system. Barter system. They give slave for that. Because that time there is no money. They have no money to buy. But the people have the land. They have yeah, all they have the land. The land with the oil and everything. Yeah, well, they don't have that. During that time, the European come with the ship, the army staff ship, mm. collect the slaves from the island, the Banana Island. I hope you already know about this island. I don't know about Banana Island. Yo, I wish you would go there so we know more about the historic culture. Okay. Yeah. So let me see what they're doing here. Um, this 
is the well. The well. This well. This is where the slave used to get water. You know? So taking over 200 years. So so they were in chains. Yeah, they were in chains. You know, they take them from here. Yeah, the negotiation. This is okay. So this is the area where they negotiate for the yeah. for the price yeah. of the slave. Yeah, for the price of the slave. Well, from here they take them inside the penthouse. And this is this is the well where they get their water for drinking and doing everything. This well I never get dry. It never gotten dry. Uh, this is this is our recent well, but it got dry. Now this never got dry. Wow. The whole of the dry season got washed up because of everybody's tears. Yeah. As you can see the leaf on top. More than 15 meters deep. More than 15 meters deep. More than 15 meters deep. Yeah. Like this is a source of drinking water. Like in this old place, this is the first well in this community that they used to get water. So now you guys, the community, use this one. Yeah, we use this. We're still using it. Like this old area is made by the monument site for the slave. Like this. When you want to buy stuff from this side, you meet the masters, you negotiate to do your exchange. So, After doing the exchange, uh -huh. then you go down this side. There is a dungeon inside this compound. Okay. There is a dungeon which yeah. they can keep more than 500 slaves. So what, what makes a slave more valuable? What makes them more valuable? Yeah. Like every week they take them outside, they assemble them, they check their heads if they are heads is strong. Uh, they are walking. Maybe for the women, bigger breasts, bigger butt. Yes. More valuable. More valuable. For the men, yeah. stronger. stronger. If you stronger like those fishermen, some um, those farm white sapphires, mm. those farmers, because they are strong. People. Wow. Yeah. 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 go from the, this point to the Amsterdam ship. The Amsterdam ship will anchor opposite the Banana Island. Okay. So when we go down, we should do the dungeon. And, and what is the local tribe here? The, the, the tribe. tribe. Creole. Cre Cre and Shabu. Okay, so before the Creole, it was Shabu. Yes, yeah, Shabu before. Okay. After the abolition of the slave trade, so, so the, the, the Shabu were making the deals with with the European. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Also, like some of these white masters. Like at that time, we have a king in this community, King Carol. Mm. King Carol is one of the masters that used to sell slaves to the white people. The, like we have another like black master, they have their pen. They have this small, small pen. Like more than seven men around this community. They all have their own pen. But this is the center when you want to buy slaves on the side. That house here, that's where they make the deals at. The, the yeah. This is where they sold our granddaddy. Our grandmas. Mm. You know, we're here, man, and we embracing the energy. We embracing everything. Honestly, I feel kind of like, make me a little queasy. A little queasy? Yeah, like. Don't worry, man. The ancestors, they rejoicing that you even came back. They rejoicing right now. <sighs> I want to take you to the penthouse. Okay. Yeah, they kept the slaves. Let's hit the penthouse where they used to keep the slaves. Oh man. Now that's gonna make you feel something. Feel like throwing up. Okay, so of course now there's no more um, slave business going on. Yeah. It's uh, the local community here. Did you say the, the saga? Huh? Uh, now it's just the local community. Did you say the tribe is saga? Yeah, it's, it's Shabu. Shabu, Shabu. Now it's the, the Shabu. Yeah, the original. The, the original, the original's yeah. here. This is next to Kent. Yeah, Kent. Wow. Good afternoon. How we doing? How did they? <laughs> Fishing. Fishing. Okay, okay. You want to say hi to camera? Shop, shop. 
You want to say hi? Jasper. How you doing? We're, we need all the black love, we're, man. We're back. We're strong. Come from a long way to get over there. Let me talk about How are you? We okay. After. Where I came from? America. All of us, America. Uh, come. Okay, what's up? Please. from America. I see. You see what's going on in Africa every time. But it's okay. Well, I guess it's not okay. We get treated like ATMs. <laughs> you know, just chain high, assist, assist with money. But they have everything here. They have the ocean, the land, can grow anything. The people are already rich. But it's about, it's about mentality. The people are already rich with all of this land, all of these fish here, everything. Which one is this? Here is the king's yard. Everyone living inside here mm -hmm. belongs to the king's family. Where? In this, in this building? See, okay. Yeah. See the fence? The, 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 the Shabu king? Yeah. Okay. They live here. This fence you see around was built by the slaves. It was built with rock and seashells. They grind it. At that time, there was no, no cement. Mm. So they grind it to fix the fence, to fix the rock. Oh, this, this rock uh, wall over here. Okay. And here, one of the fence, which they kept the slave up. There was the, was the, was the slave master. Slave master lived up there. And the, the, the slave lived down. You see passport stamp. Yes, sir. We done made our way back after 300 years. Four. Four. Oh. So this is the house where they keeping the slaves. They will put them all right here. They drink it in. Uh huh. When they, right. uh, when they want to drink, when their hands and knees, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the name of this uh, place? Kent. Kinsia. 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 Governed by Kins Carols. Okay, okay, yeah. this is good. This building with rock and seashells. Seashells, you see? Rock and seashells. You see? Okay. Yeah, this, this one. Rock and seashells. That's why I gave you this. The building's place is rock and seashells. Mm. Rocks and seashells. Okay. This is it? Yeah. This come in here, come in here, come in here. Come, yeah, come and see, mom. Come in here, everybody come in here. Yeah, can't even stand up to what? Come and see, come and see. I'm trying to turn my light on. Even the way that's going to be on the air, they got chain on their hand, chain on their feet. Because that's how they are on. So if you got, you can see your companion. This is it. You can see your ventilation here. So just imagine being chained up here, not being able to stand up, having a drink from the ground. Beat them like an animal. Yeah. From now them took them to Banana Island from here. This, 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 this being being sold for bread and palm oil. Yeah. How many? Seven hundred down here. Yeah. Yes. Even Seven though when they pull them in here, yeah, take them to Banana they Island, some can't even see clear. Seven hundred people in here. And they got a mask grave in Banana Island. You see, nobody can stand up. Yeah. Some of the slaves that Even get that time they saw you weak, yeah. they have a mask grave. They took it to the mask grave and dump it here yeah. until you dead, rotting. Yeah. Huh? Even though you get sick because there was no medical facility in that, that time. time. Yeah, they that put time, you in that mask grave. They stupid, they did a strong man to yeah. walk. Yeah. Yeah. Even you see, they took it to the mask grave and throw you around. Even some of the canals that just trying to break their so, yeah. yeah, take everything. Take out everything for us. No? Teach us like an animal, beat us like an animal. But in that time, those feel happy for our forefathers. No? We're not happy in that time. Like so, yeah. some white people, when we take them to come and show them this jungle, they, they can't even come in. Like when you were speaking, they do to us, to us like the black. They don't like teach us well, my brother. We come with them, yeah, Everyone who told them to get, come here, they say, no, 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 no. Even though they come with like a black man, they got to come to come here. Because they remember what they do to us. They remember what they do to us. It might be the shame, like the guilt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. No, Ibrahim Lincoln. Yeah. Abraham Lincoln yeah. stopped the slave trade. Yeah. So after Abraham Lincoln stopped the slave trade in America, this house stopped. Stopped. Yeah, 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 yeah. For the president in England said, if you cross the border between England and America, you been for yourself. You cannot have been as a slave. Yeah, that, 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 at that time, when Abraham Lincoln said, slave trade is finished, to like, for the governments in England said, if you cross the border between England and America, you been for yourself, you cannot be a slave. Wow. Yeah. The real history. It's, it's crazy to think of like what our ancestors went through, how we how we made it to America and Britain and all these places. That's why if you're watching this, you have to make the most out of your life because the people who came before you really endured for you to be able to make it to this point. Maybe you all family we do. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. I think a shabu, shabu, right? Yeah, shabu. Me too, I'm a shabu. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my, my name is Isaiah. My father, my mom is shabu. Yeah. Shabu. My father, my father is shabu. My mother is timid. Okay. Mm. Mende, what about your mother? Yeah, so I'm from Mandy. 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 Yeah. Mandy. Yeah. So you come from Boo. You are the people who are the Look how I gotta come out. <laughs> and you know what is the meaning of Ken? Why they decide to give you a Ken? No. It's a slogan by the British. Keep every knot tight. Keep every, every knot tight. Mm. Yeah, as soon as they approach the king's yard, they started saying this word. Keep every knot tight. Because by then the black the black people were very strong. You know, if you don't give them change, <laughs> fight. you can fight with yeah. them and the people. So as soon as they approach the king's yard, they say keep every knot tight. You, you know some stories of when they when they got out and would fight back? Yeah. Tell, let me hear it. Um, like, here, yeah, as, yeah. uh, as soon as they pull them here, they take them to Banana Island. Mm. This was the place where they assembly them. They assembly them from Banana Island, they took them to Bonds. Here is the final destination, because the Amsterdam ship um, never came in, because um, Banana Island is a very shallow place. Okay. Yeah, ship can never anchor there. So, from Banana Island, they are, they are, the place there is a mass grave. They have a mass grave there. Mass grave, yes, okay. Because when they pull them here, some of them lost their eyesight, some of them can't stand properly. Mm. You know, they'll just dump you. And there is a mass grave on Banana Island. But you say sometimes they get, they come out of the, the chain and yeah, they fight back. They fight back, but no way they could catch them. Because by then there's a lot of British soldiers. Okay. Yeah. With the weapons and everything. Yeah. And when you go to Banana Island, you can see some cannons. Mm. Yes. The, one of the cannons date 1813. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, let me tell you a story about um, people who were captured as slaves. That was at Tasso Island. Tasso, Tasso Island. Island was the first slave fort before Bones Island. Yeah. Tasso Island is where mostly they used to start slavery. Mm. But because of the island was so big, and people usually fight to the back in that island. A, a Tasso Island. Yes, they used to fight back. So that's why they moved that island, that fort, to Bones Island. Exactly. See, because the island was so big for them to manage. Okay. So people used to fight back, break cells, in the cells, uh -huh. you know, and then attack them, and then move away. And there yeah, we are also adjacent islands around Tasso Island, so they can swim across. Wow. Simply, even at night, they know the way. Yeah. You know, this is the history they don't teach us in America. This is what they didn't want us to know. 
Yeah. Yeah, definitely no. the dark side. Literally. And you can see the gates of Novi Son. We have the gates of Novi Son. Gates of Novi Son. Yeah. Th there's gates of Novi. After they pass the gate, they're already yeah. sold. Nobody will come. Yeah. For me, it would be interesting to know, like, which one of these ports, uh, you know, some of my ancestors had to pass through. They made, they endured some horrible things. That's why I have to make more out of my life. As a result of what they went through, I ended up in America. And shouldn't, shouldn't waste that. So here we go to the gates of no return. Where after an individual was sold and passed this gate, they would never see Africa again, never be on the homeland. Until Worldwide Hodge makes his return, we're back. <laughs> uh, this is the gate of no return, you know? The moment you pass this gate, you will never return. This mm -hmm. is the gate of no return. And here, if we had a boat slam to take the slave out to Banana Island. At that time, they have their, their canoe boats. Here they use their paddles to paddle across because the ship cannot sail anchor here. So they use their paddle boat. Okay, you have to, have to sell. Oh, yeah. Can I get the seat? Okay, me, I'm okay. okay. So, yeah, this is the point of no return, basically. When the slaves were sold from were sold, you know, and put onto the boats, there was no coming back to Africa until, like for me, until I came back. Over there, I showed you the gate of no return. It's a bit emotional for me, actually. Like, I felt some sadness, some anger, some passion. And I, they didn't even say we were coming here today. We were just supposed to be doing our fingerprints for our passports. It's ridiculous. People got sold for oil. People got sold for bread. Meanwhile, this is the place with all the resources, with everything, all the animals, all the minerals. But how how did people in those days get tricked into thinking that bread and oil was so valuable to sell your fellow Africans, to sell your fellow people? I guess it makes sense because it was already a part of the culture. Blacks were already selling blacks. Africans were already selling Africans. That's why, at this point, I'm not even mad at the at the Europeans who were who came here, because they came here and took advantage of a system that was already in place. We have to do better to each other today, and learn from the mistakes of our past. You hear me? We have to do better in these days. We have to move forward and build and be united. I'm one of the ones who's really seeing firsthand what they were keeping us from, the history they were keeping us from. This is Worldwide Hodge. Who else is gonna give you this content? The point of no return right here. Sierra Leone, Kent, Kent, keep every knot tied. Kent, keep them shackled, Kent. Yeah, I'm back, I have my citizenship too. Yeah. Nine different tribes. Wow. Yeah, Fula. Fulan. Uh, yeah, no, Fula, Fulani. Mende, Himne, Capelle, Yoruba, Igbo, Esan. Many, many different tribes. Fancy. No, not Fancy. Also, some, some European, also, British, Irish. You, you know, my people have been in America a long time. But me, I, I, I identify as a Fulani, as a Fula. As a Fulani? Uh, from Fusa Jalo. Fusa Jalo, Sarah Lee. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, I'm a missionary and I work with three categories of people. The aged, widows and orphans. Okay. And um, they recently uh, grouped girls at risk. What I do, just teaching, guidance, counseling, mm. Christian education, the Bible study, and then their welfare. So, when
when I saw you, I saw Mende Mahu, I saw Munda. Yeah. I wanted to establish a new. My, my Mende name is Mada. <laughs> your boy, your brother is the person here, yeah, Mada. You. you know what Mada means? I'm the oldest. The oldest? Yes. No, not only the oldest or eldest. Mada means a respectable figure okay. in the society, in the community. When you meet mother, it's mother being a not like Mendema. Yes, Munda. Hey, you see? Munda. When I say Munda, you say Munda lo, Munda lo. Munda. Munda lo, Munda lo. Yeah, I'm Munda, I'm yours. And you are mine. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Munda. Munda. Munda lo, Munda lo. I'm talking with this Fulani boy uh -huh. because I'm a missionary and I do mission work. Okay. I help the poor and the needy. So we don't have poor people in Sierra Leone. Okay. You, know, you know, sir, there, there is a culture here in Africa of when Americans come. Excuse look, me, it, Munda. Okay. You know, sir, there's a culture here in Africa of when Americans come of like really asking for like donations and things. I kind of have a feeling that uh, the people here. You already have access to so much wealth. All of these fish, all of this land that could be being formed. You guys have the opportunity to make for yourself. When we come back, we're coming back to reconnect with the people, with our people. And the people that we're looking to reconnect with, mm -hmm. they're looking at our pocket. Mm -hmm. This this is just another unacceptable. Yeah. Even to myself. It, it, you know, it's very similar to us being sold for palm oil, for bread. We're being looked at just as a as a resource. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my message today, sir. Thank you for thank you for all the nice work that we've had. I, I know where you're going with the dope with the Let girl. me give you the message. Okay. The true picture and the synopsis. There are no poor people in Sierra Leone. It's true. We are highly intelligent. Mm. But there are certain groups among us who always have self-pity. They always look for help instead of relying on themselves. We have done our very best, including myself, for over 50 years and 77. Yesterday, maybe 77. So they always ask. When they see you, they begin to beg. You don't beg. All right. Especially, you, you have, said, you, said have, you have the kids in America. We, you have, have, we have maritime resources, mm. but we cannot tap them. When the Irish come, the uh, Netherlands come. When the American come, some of the little Americans, they exploit the uh, uh, mineral resources like the bauxite, the rutile, the iron ore. Because the people are blind, blind with them. Now I, I appreciate you, sir. Sometimes you don't ask, but when you discuss with people generously, Okay. Yes, sir, excuse me, you know how we do it? Look at my pocket. You give your pocket. I'm going to yeah. break and you give your hand with my pocket. Yeah. This is my own pocket. If you give me a hand, you have yeah. satellite. Right. Yeah, I want to bless you. Yes, your pocket. You want me to put this in your pocket? No, I don't want to. You put it in my pocket. Can I put it under the coffee? Okay. Put it okay. anywhere you like. Okay, bye. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Make sure it doesn't fall. <laughs> you know, Munda, yes. if I give you hand to hand, mm -hmm. it's gravity, it's against the rule. Okay. You put it in my pocket, it's okay. Then when I go, I miss. Right, so hey, Grace, I got it in dollar. <laughs> you had to check it out. <laughs> so, Fulani, from, Fulani. from Futa Jallo. Oh, Futa Jallo. Mm. Well, you must begin to learn French. Je parle un peu français. Le français. Eh? He's my grandpa. That's your grandpa, okay. So, Mr. Can I get a tip? Uh, you have to get it from your grandpa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, we're moving along back up the trail. And I think this is just, this is still some of the first experiences I'm having in this country. We still have more days of this tour and I've already taken a house here in Sierra Leone. So it's just the beginning of the journey. I look forward to what's more. You know, he was speaking to me and it just made me feel like just giving something.
I'm not sure. It was 50 cents. But back to the door return, but. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Shackles have been open. The gates have been loose. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we got any comment from Doug? We in Wakanda, baby. We're putting the pieces back together. We're putting it back together. Slowly but for sure, man. Hello. Yes, Cindy. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I know. Wow. But y'all stay safe. Yo, we're gonna say some, I, I see something like Kenny. I hope I hope everybody has a farm. Yeah, I hope yeah. every I hope everybody's fishing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye. Leaving Kent. All right, everybody. Hi, nice hi, woman, hi, nice. Hi, nice. Hello, Africa. Hello, Africa. Hello, Africa. One love. Mom, the empties. Yeah.